Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at several really exciting new features on the SciSpace AI research tool. So one is researcher profiles. This is something that has existed on Google Scholar for a long time, but doesn't exist on most other AI tools. This is going to be really handy for you as a researcher, being able to collect and have all of your research sitting there in one spot. It's going to have some analytics linked to it, which is going to be really handy for tracking how your research career is going. The second is really exciting because it's going to let you upload your articles or link to them and then use them to generate slides and short form video content that you can share online. This is going to be a really great way of sharing your research publicly and in turn hopefully boosting your citations by making your research more accessible and more well known publicly. SciSpace have very kindly given me a couple of discount codes, they're going to be in the video description to be able to get discounts on the monthly and the annual subscriptions for the tool. So let's jump in and have a go of these new features. Just a quick note before we begin, in the time since I recorded most of this video there has been some rearrangement on the SciSpace site. When we come over here to the left, everything that I'm talking about is now in the section called Author Profile. So we click on that and we can see my profile here all set up. It's got the bits about videos, presentations, we can see the analytics, the AI clone, the ability to set up and auto-generate videos and slides now all in this section. Everything I cover in the rest of this video is still relevant and great examples, but you will find that the arrangement on the screen just looks a little bit different. So we want to be logged in. So first step, if you haven't got an account, make an account. Once you've got that account, log in. Come over to the left, let's click on profile. I've not done this yet, so we are doing this live together. So let's search for my name. And we can see the number of different options come up. Only the first few are going to be relevant ones. Top one, that is definitely going to be me. We can hit claim on that. Important to note that you don't need the institutional email of that institution, but it does need to be from some institution. It won't let you use a Gmail, or at least it didn't at the time that I made this. The time that I made this, you also could only claim one profile and then you were locked into that one. I believe they are looking at ways for you to be able to merge multiple profiles. Once we've got our profile set up, we can click here and actually change our institute that we currently work at. We can add a photo, we can upload new papers, and then down the bottom we've got our publications. I would note that the My Publications, the intent of that is that these are yours. And this is different from our library. The library, we might have previously, in fact, here we can see I have previously uploaded some of my own papers, but this is a place where you can upload other papers as well. Uploading papers to my library does not give them access to being able to create the slides and video. They need to go into the My Publications inside your profile. We can then click Train Your AI Clone and that's going to let us create a little clone to be able to make the videos. So let's click on this. And I'm not quite meeting these requirements in that my background is a bit messy. But we will click on next and we'll see how we go. They've given us a script we can read from or we can just talk about whatever we like instead. I am going to maybe have a go at the script. I think my mic is going to clash with the recording, so I'm just going to pause. I recorded the video. You can see me there. Not quite centered. I think that's fine though. For me, this is not something I will necessarily use all that much, if at all because I'm pretty used to just recording my own videos and I think that the AI one just won't look as good. But we'll say it looks fine. And so we make a declaration. They actually got you to record a video of that authorization. So they want the PDF of the paper to be able to create the AI assets. So we've got one here, which was a old conference paper. And so it's already got the PDF there. So we can hit generate AI assets. As it goes through, it tries to extract information from the PDF and that use those to create the frames for the video and then the slides. And we can see the slides actually came up really quickly. Uh, so we can see that the, the style is very basic. We get the size space underline. 
But certainly that gives you scope because it is nice and basic that you can put in your own images and bits and pieces. So we've got a table of contents, introduction, literature review. Be nice with this literature review that included the years. They include the speaker notes off on the right as well. So they really are trying to make this for someone who is newer than me to research who might have written a paper but is maybe not quite as experienced being able to just spit out slides like this even for someone that is experienced if they're just busy this gets you a real running start so that was pretty good so with the video we can choose our own clone or there's two audio option only male voice female voice that we can select instead and the video will just be some snapshots of the paper and as it kind of goes through those frames, there'll be narration attached to it. We can see that my clone is still processing away there, but we'll hit generate. And we've got the paper sitting there. We've got me down in the corner. And kind of looks like me from a YouTube video. Let's see how I sound. Excited to unveil our groundbreaking Android app for statistics. Discover how mobile tech boosts learning engagement. On one hand, definitely AI. On the other hand, there is actually face motion there. The voice is kind of stilted word to word, but it's not that bad. It's certainly a step above the generation before of this kind of tool. For me personally, I don't think I'd be sharing it because I'm a video maker anyway. Also, I did give it something where it's got a whole lot of words where it's going to maybe fumble a little bit on the pronunciation, but it actually did really well didn't really mess up anything there and if you are someone who wants to try and promote their research particularly recent papers across the different social platforms this can be a nice fast way of being able to generate some useful little videos thanks for watching if you do end up making some videos of your own on here do let me know I'm happy to have a look at them and i'll be back really soon with more videos on ai research stats and random stuff